this session, we're going to cover categories, which is perhaps one of the most important items when setting up your help desk, because categories are a high-level description of the type of tickets you'll be managing within your account. Notice that I'm on a uh, ticket list view right now. It's very easy for me to identify what category my tickets belong to. So that's the first aspect of it. Uh, depending on the use case, you can add as many categories and, and again, use a naming convention to describe the type of tickets that your team is working with. So you may notice that as I jump from one demo to another, the uh, use case changes a little bit, right? Also, recategorizing a ticket is very easy. You can always click on the category uh, box and select a different category. You can even automate some of those processes with the smart rules. But um, before I continue, let me go ahead and share with you a wider sample of how you can build your categories. And again, this is based on different use cases. So if you're part of an HR team or part of an accounting team or IT or uh, software support, this should help as a visual sample on how you can add your categories. Categories can be associated with other functionality within Happy Fox, which is pretty neat. Here's what I'm talking about. As you build your categories, you can define which agents will have access to those categories. Therefore, you define how or your agent visibility is built. You will be able to create a smart rules for automation that affects certain type of tickets, right? Certain categories. You will be able to build SLAs for unique categories because again, categories represent different type of tickets, right? So the SLAs could be a little more critical than others. Can actions or can responses. You can build ticket templates based on the ticket category. Task templates as well. Even auto assignment rules can be set at the category level. So how, how you're distributing those tickets automatically. And lastly, you can even run reports at a category level. So you have a more granular glance at what type of tickets you're working with and all the performance and metrics. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you how to build those categories. For that, I'm gonna take one of my own demo accounts. I'm going to open the admin menu and select the options for categories. From here, it's a very simple process. Doesn't really take much. If you notice, as soon as I hit the plus symbol, it opens the right panel where I can go ahead and start naming my category. The prefix is automatically generated. You can always change it if you like. You can set categories to be public, meaning you will then allow end users to raise tickets against those categories because perhaps you're publishing a web form in your support center. Or you can set categories to be private, hidden, right? Just only visible to agents behind the help desk. You will be able then to set which are the team members that you want to give access to for that category. And if you want the behavior of creating tickets from emails directly into this category, you can always set those emails through the channels page. And then from here, select the appropriate email address so that every time somebody sends an email to that ID, it would automatically create a ticket in this brand new category. That's it, that's all it takes. I'm gonna go ahead and save. And all the way up here on top, accounting, that's my brand new category. One of the things that I wanna mention is that you can easily hover through the agents column to see which are the team members associated with each one of those. That's kind of neat, saves, saves time. But the other portion that I want to show you from this screen is that you'll be able to use these three dots to the right side to go into more advanced settings. What am I talking about? Well, you have the opportunity to configure a custom signature so that every time an agent is responding to a ticket within this category, that response can go with a very specific signature, right? Maybe some specific uh, uh, phone numbers or uh, instructions. You'd also be able to set the ticket reply behavior, which means every time we're replying to tickets in this category, do we want to preserve all the CCs? 
you'd also be able to do some time tracking. That means every time an agent is adding a private note or a reply, you can have a stopwatch being triggered and calculating the total amount of time that is being used by, by the agent while updating this ticket. And lastly, you'll be able to even configure the reopen behavior on this category. What does it mean? Well, if you ever close a ticket and the end user replies back, what do we want the system to do with it? It will be able to reopen it again, maybe create a new ticket or do nothing. Again, those are unique behaviors that you are able to set at the category level. That is it for now. Thank you for watching.